right, example two here in 3.2, we're continuing on, um, which is uh, solving uh, systems of equations algebraically. And we were just talking about the linear combination methods. So we're actually going to try that out again here on this problem. So we're going to multiply both the top and the bottom. And if you remember, what that means is take whatever number I have on top, and I just put it right down here on the bottom, which is a 7. I take the opposite of whatever number I have here on the bottom, and I put that on the top. So that was a 7. That's why that's a 7. This is a negative 5, so I made that a positive 5. All I need to do is distribute 5 times 7. 35x. 5 times negative 12, negative 60y. 5 times negative 22, negative 110. On the bottom, 7 times negative 5, negative 35. 7 times 8, 56. 7 times 14, 98. These x's now cancel out when I add them together. 35 and negative 35, gone. Negative 60 and 56, negative 4y. And when I add these together, negative 110 and 98, I end up with negative 12. So when I divide both of those, I end up with y equals 3 as my answer. So I get y equals 3. And once again, I take my answer for y, and all I have to do is plug that in. So y equals 3. So I'm going to pick the top one. So I'll pick that to be 3. And 12 times 3, that's 36. So I have 7x minus 36 equals negative 2. To get x by itself, I would add 36 to both sides. So those cancel out. So I have 7x equals 14. And I would divide both sides by 7 to get x equals 2. So when I put those together, the answer that works is 2, 3. Remember, x, y in ordered pairs. Well, Homer, I guess you're the winner by default. Default! So try this out with linear combination. So I have a 1 on top, so I multiply the bottom by 1. I have a 2 on the bottom, so I multiply the top by negative 2. And once again, all I need to do is distribute. So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4y. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. On the bottom, 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. 1 times 7 is 7. So when I add these up, negative 2 and 2, they cancel out. When I add these up, 4 and negative 4, they cancel out. I end up with 0, and I end up with, let's see here what I end up with, negative 6 plus so when I add those two together and we realize they both cross out, I end up with 0 equals 1. 0 equals 1, right? Well, that makes absolutely no sense because it makes absolutely no sense. That's telling me that there is no solution to the problem. What that means is these lines aren't going to touch each other ever. That's what it means. There's no solution to this problem because these two lines are never going to cross each other. If they're never going to cross each other, then there's going to be no solution to the problem. So now I go to do this one. I multiply both the top and the bottom, right? So I take whatever I have on top, multiply it on the bottom, which is 6. Take whatever I have on the bottom and do the opposite. So that would make that a 15. 15 times 6 is 90x. 15 times negative 10, negative 150y. 15 times 12, 180. On the bottom, 6 times negative 15, negative 90x. 6 times 25 positive 150y. 6 times negative 30, negative 180. That crosses out when I add them. That crosses out when I add them, and that crosses out. Everything crosses out. Well, holy my goodness, everything crosses out. That does make sense. 0 equals 0. I mean, that does make sense. Well, guess what? If everything cancels out and you get the same thing ever on both sides, maybe you'll get x equals x, y equals y, maybe you'll get 0 equals 0, maybe you'll get 4 equals 4. If you get the same thing on both sides, that's telling you that both sides are the same, you have infinitely many solutions. All right. So when you're solving that, if you have the same thing on both sides, you end up having infinitely many solutions. So example four, a caterer is planning a party for 64 people. The customer has 150 to spend, um, a $39 pan of pasta feeds 14 people, and a $12 uh, sandwich tray feeds six people. How many pans of pasta and how many uh, sandwich trays uh, should the caterer make? 
So I'm going to make the pasta be X and the sandwiches be Y. And once again, if you remember, I said make money stay with money, right? Whenever you're making these together, make money stay with money. Well, we're saying that it costs 39 bucks for a pan of pasta and $12 for sandwiches. So that's why I have 39X because 39 for one pan of pasta and twelve dollars for a pan um, for a sandwich tray and all the money we have to spend is one fifty that's why that all equals one fifty one pan of pasta which is the x right x stands for pasta that feeds fourteen people so there it is fourteen for one pan and six trays of sandwiches and sandwiches are y so that's why it's six y and there's a total of sixty four people coming so that's why I have those two equations set up as I do. The key there is to remember that money goes with money when you're doing this. So just like before, when we go to solve this, whatever's on the top, I put on the bottom. All right, and whatever's on the bottom, I put on the top. However, instead of the first number, what might make this easier is if I do a 39, it will be, it'll work. I'll get a really big number. But the reason I chose negative 2 is, what's negative 2 times 6? Negative 12. Look what happens. The 12s will end up canceling out. So if I do this to get the y's to cancel out instead, I can still solve the problem, and I don't have to have these huge, ginormous numbers. But it will work. I could do 39 on the bottom and negative 14 on top, distribute through, and get my answer, but it will take a little while longer. But if I do it this way, um, I can multiply the top by a 1, the bottom by a negative 2, 1 times all of that just gives me what it was. Negative 2 times 14 is negative 28. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. Negative 2 times 64 is negative 128. This way, the 12s cancel out. 39 plus negative 28 is an 11x, and that gives me 22. So I find out now that x equals, when I divide both sides by 11, I get x equals 2 as my answer. So to plug it back in, Right, if I plug that back in, I pick whichever one I want, and I pick the top one, so I'm plugging a 2 in for x. So 39 times 2 is 78. So to get y by itself, since it's a positive 78, I would subtract 78 on both sides. So I get 12y equals 72. Divide both sides by 12, because I'm trying to get y by itself. And I end up with y equals 6. So what this means is I could get 2 pans of pasta and 6 uh, sandwich trays, and that should be enough to feed all 64 people. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. There's your homework. Page 152 through 155, 12 through 20 even, 24 through 34 even, 38 through 52 even, 57 and 59. When you're doing this, remember, opposite uh, you just bring the top number down to the bottom and multiply it through and distribute it through and the um, bottom number uh, make it the opposite on top and distribute through. Also remember if you have the same number on both sides or the same variable on both sides there are infinitely many solutions. If your answer doesn't make any sense at all you get like 0 equals 8 or 9 equals 14 um, then there are no solutions to the problem. So keep that stuff in mind. If you have any other questions or concerns, search through more on the web, see if you can find some more examples, or please just email me for some help.